Uh, yeah, Democratic representative from Virginia, Congressman Tom Periello. Congressman, uh, I'm going to read you an article on the Republican victories on Tuesday, and this is from Politico. Uh, Politico writes this, quote, Republicans smell blood in the water after Tuesday's wave of statewide victories in Virginia, pointing to four Democratic-held House districts where Republican Governor-elect Bob McDonnell ran up the score. A Democratic Party official in Virginia said that some of the House incumbents, particularly Periello, and not I haven't yet received the wake-up call that Tuesday night's results should have sent. I worry they're oblivious, the official said. Maybe they'll figure it out in June or July when things start to come home to roost. All right, Congressman, uh, first-term Congressman, you're one of the top targets of the Republican Party. The question this morning, are you oblivious? Hmm. <laughs> are you oblivious to what happened? Obviously, Tuesday night, a horrible night for Democrats, at least in the state of Virginia. What's it mean to you? Well, I think it, it shows across the country that it's not enough to be a Democrat or to be a Republican. People are looking for what you stand for, what results you deliver on. Right. They expect you to know your local issues, to focus on the economy. Uh, these were shocking victories, victories. Elijah's right in the congressional races, right. and shocking losses in Virginia. So I think the consistent theme is you got to deliver results for people. That's what they're looking for. Well, so, Tom, let's talk about where it really matters for you and your political future. Health care reform's coming up. You've got people like Nancy Pelosi that want to pull you left. You've got bloggers that say blue dogs and moderate Democrats are traitors to the cause and owned by insurance companies. What do you do? Well, again, I mean, one thing to look at on Tuesday is not just the voters that did show up, but the voters that didn't show up. Uh, you know, you always see before the football game the keys to victory. We got to put some points on the board. We got to really hold the line on defense and, right. and avoid the big mistakes. It's it's pretty profound stuff. And I think in elections it can come down to that too. We really, you know, we promised health care reform and energy. If you look though, it's not just about what you're for or against. It's about what you accomplish. We've cut 300 billion dollars out of the original proposal. We now have this thing deficit reducing, not just for the first decade where you can play pl pl so, plenty of tricks, yeah. but that second decade is balanced. So, um, so Tom, does that mean you're going to vote for health care reform, yes or no? I moved a lot closer to yes, and I really think that's the key, is that being the party of no, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, just saying yeah. no isn't enough. The question is, are you All putting right. solutions on the table? I'd love to see more interstate competition in there. We've gotten some good victories for our rural that's communities. Fascinating. Okay, Caddy. that is fascinating. Caddy. Congressman Cathy Kay here. Um, Obama, you know, did well with independence in Virginia in last year. He won them, I think, by what one point. There was a blowout for McDonald last night with the independents. What are you going to do in your district to win over those independents? Specifically, how are you going to reassure them that you're thinking about their issues? number one of which is clearly jobs. Well, first is showing up every weekend. I cover about a thousand miles in my district every weekend. We're working with farmers, with small business owners on how we can turn this economy around. And there's no question that that's the number one issue on people's minds. Uh, the health care bill as it currently exists actually would take a family making 60000 a year and reduce their premiums by up to $5,000 every year. That's pretty real at a kitchen table. Right. But, you know, we've got to focus on those jobs. That's what you do when you go home every weekend. And I think people appreciate yep. whether you're working hard and trying to solve problems. Now, now Congressman, I'm not really good with geography. Yeah. Um, I, I, I skipped that Definitely. class, especially Virginia. It's confusing. Go, yeah. let, let's put up this map of your home state, Virginia. I'm not exactly sure. Where is Charlottesville is in this map? Who's oh, in county by county? Uh, are, where is the, uh, this? I don't have a pointer over here, Joe. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's, I think, it's, okay, it's I'm just central told Virginia. It. Yeah. And uh, then you can go down from there. You know, some people were saying yeah. yesterday, Look at what happened in your district. Well, what happened in my district was similar to what yeah. happened across the state. I yeah. think Bob McDonald ran a strong campaign, okay. got his base out, and appealed to independents. Uh, I got more votes in the 5th District last year than Bob McDonald did on Tuesday. All right, it's always about it's turnout in the election. Keeping it real. Okay, so we'll put up the map. I just National Geographic's um, desk just called this. You are, are, are swimming in the middle of a sea of red. <laughs> yeah. Best wishes, and we, we hope you'll come back. Seriously, we, we love talking to you. All Thank right. you so Thank much. You. Good to be here. All right, what's up? Thank you. Up next.